Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today I'm going to tell you guys about the vortex over the sun. That's right, the vortex over the sun. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, A long, long time ago, in the area that we now call California today, there sat a village in the land which had very tall trees. In fact, this land had the largest tree in the world amongst its ranks. It stood over 500 feet high. One day, a whispering spirit, wandering throughout the entire earth, stumbled upon this village by accident. Sensing the people who lived there, the whispering spirit decided to torment some of them before he continued on his wandering. Finding a young man peacefully fishing, the whispering spirit crept up behind him to whisper in his ear. Sikta Ugas, the whispering spirit said, which being interpreted means fear consumes you. Then, almost immediately, the young man saw monsters and beasts emerging from the waters. Overwhelmed with fear, the young man ran off screaming, and the whispering spirit followed. The man told everyone he came across about what he saw, and as he did, the whispering spirit would whisper to them. Sikta Ugas, he said. Soon, the entire village was in a panic, and their torment was food for the whispering spirit. He indeed got stronger from their fear, and his strength made them more afraid. A vicious cycle that the whispering spirit would put people through in order to gain more power. The cries of the people were loud and constant, and at last they made so much noise in their frenzy of fear that they awoke the great hawk who lived inside the largest tree in the land. What is this? the great hawk asked, coming forth from his home. Why have you all awakened me from my sleep? Gazing down from the top of the 500 foot tree, the great hawk saw the whispering spirit tormenting the people. Angered by being robbed of sleep, the great hawk flew down as fast as he could and caught the whispering spirit in his talons. He then began to fly straight up into the air. The whispering spirit tried his hardest to get free, but there was no getting out of those powerful talons. Knowing that you could only destroy a spirit by using fire, the great hawk had a plan on what to do. The great hawk flew all the way to the sun, and then he cast the whispering spirit into it. When he did, the spirit, which always whispered, cried out as loud as all of those he had ever tormented would cry out, if they all cried out at once. And the sound of his torment was so loud that it caused a vortex to be formed on the sun that could be seen from earth. And so, the morning motivation of today is the vortex over the sun. Today, family, I want you to grab hold of that fear that has been holding you back from being the best version of yourself. And I want you to put as much distance between you and that fear as possible. I want you to toss that fear into the fire pit which sits at the sun's north pole. Then, after you cast that fear away, I want you to roll up your sleeves, get back on your grind, and fight hard to go and get everything that is coming to you. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning.